Good morning friends. Welcome back to Panika Tutorials. In this video, I want to discuss in detail about the while loops. So I request everyone to watch the complete video for better understanding. A while loop is used to execute a block of statements repeatedly until a given condition is satisfied. Whenever the condition is not satisfied, it will come out from the while loop. Is it clear? Meaning is that we will execute the certain number of statements till the condition is true. When the condition becomes false, we will come out from the while loop. Now let me draw the flow chart of a while loop. Then I will discuss a program for better understanding. Now you will have the flow chart. You will have a while condition. Okay. You will have while condition or the test expression. If the condition can be true or false, if the condition is true, you will execute the block of statements. Okay, block of statements. It can be a single statement or it can be a group of statements. Again, after executing this block of statements, again, you will verify whether the condition is true or false. Is it clear? Are you able to understand after executing this block of statements? You will verify whether this condition is true or false. If the condition is false, okay, you will execute the other statements after the loop. Is it clear? If the condition is false, the what are the statements after the loop, those statements will be executed. Is it clear? So you will have an entry, then you will verify the condition, whether the condition is true or false. If the condition is true, what are the block of statements you want to execute, you will execute. Then again, after executing the statements, you will verify the condition. If the condition is true, again, you will execute the statements. If the condition is false, what are the statements which are there after the while loop, they will be executed. Now let me discuss the syntax of while loop in Python. F for using the while loop, we will use a keyword called while. Okay, then you will have a condition or the test expression and then you will have the column. In C programming long ways, we will use the curly braces to define the set of statements you want to execute when the condition is true. So you will use while and then you will use a condition and then you will use the curly braces within those curly braces what are the statements are there those statements will be executed when the condition is true if there is a one statement here after the while loop if you have certain statements after the while loop if the condition is false these statements will be executed now in python we does not use the curly braces to define the group of statements which belongs to this while loop what we will do is that Python supports the indentation. Once you enter this column and press the enter, then indentation will start. It will leave the four character space and the cursor will be pointing here. So what are the statements you want to write? Suppose let's take that you want to write statement one, then statement two, statement three, what are the statements you want to write or what you want to execute if the condition is true? All the statements you will write. Now, if you want to give these statements which are need to be executed when the condition is false, then you will enter the backspace because once you press enter the statement 3 and press the enter, the cursor will be pointing here. You press the backspace, you will, it will come here. So, which will be parallel to the while, okay? Though you can write the statement, suppose you can write statement 4, you can write statement 5 like this. Is it clear? So what will happen is that if the condition is true, these statements will be executed and then again it will verify this condition. If the condition is again true, these statements will be executed. When the condition is false, it will execute the statement 4, statement 5, so on. Is it clear? Now let me discuss this while loop with a simple example for better understanding. Now look at this one. I have, I initialized i is equal to 0. I have taken a variable i and I have initialized to 0. Then I have written while i less than 3. This is the condition or the test expression column. Okay. 
what I want to do is that I want to print the i value. So I am writing print i. Is it clear? Are you able to understand? If this is the program, what will happen? You verify. Initially, i value is equal to 0. Okay. Now look at here. While i is 0. So 0 less than 3 is the condition is true or false? Yes, the condition is true. So as the condition is true, it will go to the while loop and it will execute the statement. What is that one? Print i. So i value 0 will be printed. Okay. Then what I need to do? I need to increment the i value. Otherwise, it will be in an infinite loop 0 will keep on printing. Is it clear? Now I want to print the from numbers from 0 to something we will look at here. So you will have while test expression and these are the statements you have. So 0 is less than 3 you are printing then you are incrementing the i value. i is, well, is equal to i plus 1. Now i value will be updated to 1. Now look at here again the condition will be verified i less than 3 now i value is how much 1 1 is less than 3 yes okay so the condition is true if the condition is true these two statements will be executed print i so i value will be printed then i is equal to i plus 1 now i value will become 2 then again it will verify the condition i less than 3 2 is less than 3 the condition is true if the condition is true these two statements will be executed first statement is print i so i value 2 will be printed then i is equal to i plus 1 now i value will be updated to 3 now look at here again the condition will be verified i less than 3 whether 3 is less than 3 no so the condition will stop the condition is failed so the loop execution will stop so this is the entry when i value is equal to 0 this is the entry when is the exit i less than 3 when the i value is less than 3 then it will execute the statements when i value is equal to 3 or greater than 3 these statements will not be executed if you want to verify here you can write another statement okay you can press enter then cursor will come you press the backspace it will come here you can write print by our good program something you want to write then after printing 0 1 2 it will print the by statement so this is the way you can use the while loop now let me discuss another program for better understanding now i want to discuss how to compute the sum of first n natural numbers okay so if i want to do that one first i need to read the input from the user i will use a variable n and I will ask the user to enter the input. So I will use the function called input and I will write a statement enter number. Now you know that input function will return everything in terms of string. But I want to compute the sum of first n natural numbers. So n should be an integer. So what I will do is that I will do the type casting. Okay. Is it clear? Then what I will do, I will use a variable called sum and I will initialize to 0. Then what I will do, I will write while and then n less than 0. Is it clear? Are you able to, sorry, n is greater than 0. Sorry for it. I am always confused with the less than and greater than symbol. This is n greater than 0. When n is equal to 0 or less than 0, then this loop will stop executing. So what I need to do, I want to compute the sum. So sum is equal to sum plus n. Okay, am I right? Then n is equal to n minus 1. Then after that you want to print the sum. So print sum is, you can print sum. Okay, look at here how it will be executed. Now let's take that user has entered the n value is equal to 3. Okay, now sum is equal to 0. Keep that one. Now while n value is how much? 3. 3 is greater than 0. Yes, 3 is greater than 0. So this condition is true. If the condition is true, these statements will be executed. 
sum is equal to sum plus n. What is sum value? 0. 0 plus n value is 3. So, 0 plus 3 is 3. That will be stored in the variable called sum. So, sum will be now 3. n is equal to n minus 1. So, 3 minus 1, it will become 2 and you are assigning to the variable n. Okay. Then, again the condition will be verified. Now, what is the n value? n value is 2. So, 2 is greater than 0. Yes, the condition is true. Again, these two statements will be executed. Sum is equal to sum plus n. What is the sum value 3? What is the n value 2? So, 3 plus 2 is 5 that you are assigning to the variable called sum. Now, sum variable will be updated to the value 5. Then n is equal to n minus 1. Then n value will be updated to 1. Again, the condition will be verified n is greater than 0 or not. What is the n value? n value is 1. 1 is greater than 0. Again, the condition is true. If the condition is true, these two statements will be executed. Sum is equal to sum plus n. What is the sum value? 5. What is the n value? 1. So, 5 plus 1 is 6 that you are assigning to the variable called sum. Then n is equal to n minus 1. So, n will become 0. Now, again, you will verify the condition n is greater than 0 or not. Now, n value is 0, greater than 0. Is this condition is true or false? This condition is false. Whenever the condition is not satisfied, it will stop executing the statements and it will come out from the while loop. And what is the statement is there? Print sum. What is the sum value? 6. So, it will display the output is sum is 6. This will be the output you will get. Now, let me execute these programs in Jupyter Notebook so that you will understand them in a better way. Now we will write the code in the Jupyter Notebook. Now already I have discussed we have to take a variable i and we have to initialize the value 0 for it. Then I will use the while keyword and then we have to write the test expression. Here the test expression let me write it as i less than 5 and then we have to write the semicolon. Once I press the enter, the indentation will start. Then whatever the statements I want to execute, I can write here. Suppose if I write print Pernica, Pernica tutorials, if I write and then if I increment the i value as i is equal to i plus 1 and then I will press the backspace then whatever the statement I want to write after the completion of the while loop I can write here subscribe subscribe and if I write like and share okay now if you want to see the output you can press the run button and you can see Pernica tutorials will print it five times and then after that subscribe like and share was the output why five times it was printed we have started the i value from zero whenever the i value becomes five or greater than five then the condition will stop so when it is zero it will enter into the while loop and will print the Pernica tutorials once then i value will be updated to one okay then 1 is less than 5, the condition is true. Then Pernica tutorials will again print the output. Now i value is equal to i plus 1. Now i value will become 2. Again 2 is less than 5, the condition is true. Pernica tutorial will print third time. Then i is equal to i plus 1. i value will become 3. 3 is less than 5. Again the condition is true. Pernica tutorials will print fourth time. Then i is equal to i plus 1 now i value will become 4 4 is less than 5 the condition is again true Pernica tutorials will print fifth time i is equal to i plus 1 i value will become 5 now 5 is less than 5 no wrong 5 is equal to 5 the condition is false then the control will come out from the while loop then after the while loop there is a statement called print subscribe subscribe will be printed after that print like and share, like and share output will come. So, I hope you have understood how to work with the while loop in Python. 
If you have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts as early as possible. Thank you for watching the complete video. Have a nice day.